So now we start to wonder what we can do with this excellent linear classification we've built. I mean, what happens when you look at a system that's not linear, that can't be represented by a coefficient matrix? Well, you can still look at an equilibrium point of a nonlinear system by using a linear approximation to the slope functions f and g. Slope functions f and g are functions of two variables, they're surfaces. So a linear approximation to those, that'd be a tangent plane. And you know the tangent plane approximation formula, because you've used that in your third semester of calculus. f of x, y at x naught y naught is approximately equal to f of x naught plus y naught plus partial f respect to x of x dot y naught times the change in x plus partial f partial y at x dot y naught times the change in y. Change in x and change in y represent how far you are away from the point x dot y naught where you're building the approximation. And write the same linear approximation, write the same tangent plane approximation for the function g. So if you set u equal to x minus x naught and y, v equal to y minus y naught, first you know that du dt is equal to dx dt. x naught and y naught are just constants if you differentiate both sides with respect to t. And you know that f of x naught y naught and g of x naught y naught is zero because x naught y naught is an equilibrium point. Well then the system we wrote above can be rewritten du dt is partial f partial x at x naught y naught u plus partial f partial y at x naught y naught v. Similarly for dv dt, partial g partial x at x naught y naught u plus partial g partial y at x naught y naught v. But that's a linear system. The derivative of the vector uv is this matrix of first order partials times uv. This matrix of first order partials is called the Jacobian of the system at x naught y naught. And the behavior of this linear system at uv equals 0, 0, it's the equilibrium point of the linear system, is going to approximate the behavior of the original nonlinear system at x naught y naught. So we can read the behavior of the nonlinear system by holding up the Jacobian to that equilibrium point. The Jacobian is like a magnifying glass or a microscope. It allows us to just zoom in on the equilibrium point x naught y naught.